Welcome to the Farm Stand Kitchen. Today we are on location in Omaha, Nebraska. We're in the home of our son, Chase, who really can build some great charcuterie boards. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started and we'll just kind of fill in with some commentary as we go and explain what we're doing. Um, charcuterie, we should explain what that is. Mm -hmm. um, it can be, it's an appetizer or it can be a small meal, really. Um, that's the way we or like it. Or a big meal. Or a big meal. Depending on how you make it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we tend to make some larger <laughs> charcuterie boards. True. Um, the reason why I asked Chase to do this today is because his boards are very artful. He makes really great boards. He's an artist, so that doesn't surprise me. So I, w I just wanted for him to show you how he makes his board. Um, it's very interesting. It's very beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So yeah. let's just go let's ahead go and go. It. All right. Well, I mean, being in Omaha here, we have kind of a pretty good assortment of like meats and cheeses and things that you can buy. I mean, you can you can literally get these about anywhere that uh, anywhere really. Hy-Vee, um, whatever your like chain grocery store is, something like that, or even like a Trader Joe's if you're close to that. Mm -hmm. and that's where actually a lot of this stuff is from is Trader Joe's. Right. So, and and the great thing about it is, is like you do, there's no set way to do it. There's nothing where you have to get a certain thing. It's kind of up to you. They've got a ton of cheese there, a ton of different meats. So. That's why I like to come to pick and choose. It usually ends up different every time. So. Right. <laughs> but, you know, kind yes. of, it's kind of based on color and things like that and what people want. So mm -hmm. what I usually start with first is I like to put a little bread here. This is just a baguette bread. It's like $1.99. You can find it about anywhere. And you like to slice yours really thin. I do. I slice it thin to where they're almost kind of falling apart like this. And the reason being is because I don't like a ton of bread when I'm, when I'm trying to taste a lot of these different flavors. Yes. yes. So what I usually do is I cut, That's it, a great idea. I cut it pretty thin and I keep it there. And I don't usually use... I guess I wouldn't say I use a ton of the bread because we can supplement with crackers and those types of things as well. Right, right. So I usually like to set that, start that in the corner. And then from here, okay. I just kind of start going crazy and kind of putting whatever <laughs> I want down. So I'll start with this peppered salami. Peppered salami for me is one of That's my favorites. That's really here. delicious. So I love that one. I also like to slice this a little bit thinner. It goes mm -hmm. a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, allows you to kind of fill out the board a little bit more in case you have to right. refill it. Right. You don't use it all up in giant chunks here. And then so, with your boards, you kind of like to um, be very artful, like you just don't put yours in lines. No, no, like I don't. I like to kind of put them just about anywhere, like right. anywhere where it kind of looks. I it mean, really is a work of art. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> now, think of it this way. It's more of like, um, almost like painting something. Like you want to kind of right. make sure every corner is kind of, you know, not super some heavy color. on one side right. or has like some color. So mm -hmm. that's at least the way I like it. You can do it any way you want. <laughs> so, but then I'd like to go ahead and maybe just put like a, block of cheese here. Now this is an apricot. It's oh an apricot yes, a Stilton. Cheese. Yes. Yes. It's White very good. Stilton with apricot. White Stilton with apricot. It's one of my favorites. This is a I mean, fantastic cheese. Yeah, it is awesome. So. And you did purchase that at Trader Joe's, yep, correct? Yep, so I got okay. this at Trader Joe's okay. as well. Okay. All right. And then so you can also get these packs of like salami, capicola, mm -hmm. um, also prosciutto, those kind of things. Hopefully mm -hmm. I'm saying those right. But uh, <laughs> what I some people, they like to line these all up. But I don't like to do that. I want to take these and I like to just kind of tear them like this. Yeah, and that that's so a great idea. if you tear them like this because there's, it's, you, you don't have like one person taking the entire salami. And I don't like usually want to have like a giant piece of salami either. So. Well, it's nice just to take a little <clears throat> bite to mix with other exactly. things. And, and that's, that's what, what I like about, about it. Really. I mean, it's kind of like the, it the is. game for me for it's charcuterie like a, is doing something like that. Like a so, tasting board. Yeah, they like wanna... a tasting board. So you kind of, I like to break them up like this so they're little pieces and... Yeah. You just kind of grab what you want here. I mean, just grab a little bit of everything to try it. So it's a great idea. Put a little bit of that right there. And I kind of like the way it looks too, kind of broken mm -hmm. up like that. Yes. And then from there, you can kind of go back to maybe some of your cheeses. There's also other, I guess you could say like cheese packages. So like, mm -hmm. um, I think this one's like Iberco and Manchego. There's this great little cheese packet at Trader Joe's. Some of you probably mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about where mm -hmm. it's easy to buy. So you have a couple different strips of each so you can try them. Right. So we'll do that. We'll put a couple over here. And again, I'm just going to tear some of these up so it's not so overwhelming. Right. And just get a little bite. Exactly. Yeah, that's good. And a couple little bites here. Mm-hmm. And then, you know what, let's go ahead and take you some of this some stuff. So okay. Over here, we've got some fruits, which I think is really important. So we have raspberries, mm -hmm. strawberries, um, some chocolate almonds. And this is a rosemary almond. Is that yep, correct? Yeah, so it's a, a rosemary okay. macadamia. Macadamia. Yeah, macadamia, okay, and really then we have good. our blueberries, mm -hmm. and then we have our fresh herbs. Exactly. So yeah. those, you can find these at Trader Joe's too, as well. Right. Or just I'll hold these for you. Yeah. Perfect. So this is kind of nice. I'm just, just the take, prep girl. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at and, that. Yeah. I mean, so this is great. 
This gives this a little bit of color here. It goes well with this cheese as well. You know, I mean, it's got apple yeah, that's and you've got beautiful together. And you've got this, mm -hmm. which is more of a peppered salami. Yes. I mean, it kind of it's kind of up to you how how you want to pair it, but I kind of feel like that tastes pretty good. But I'm kind of thinking of both well, flavors. You well, know, you're so. really good at pairing. Yeah. I have to say that <laughs> yeah. your charcuterie boards are everything you pick up that's beside something. It's like, oh yeah, that's that was great. Well. You're really good at this, Chase. That just means before I had children, I had the opportunity to actually <laughs> eat charcuterie. Bars. Can't do that now. So I mean, <laughs> well, we are today. Oh yeah, exactly. We are, we're going to today. This we have some gone. guests coming today yeah, to help us eat these. Like pretty quick. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, just a little. Get, so Is that you, you start there? taking okay. some, yeah, some of your stuff like that, and you can right. pop it out here. Now, now on this plate here, we have our olives, and some little pickles, mm -hmm. and a mustard. Yep. And some pepper jelly. And that's what I love about this stuff, too, is this Dijon, if you get some, it's like this Dijon mustard. It's the mustard. stone. Yeah, the stone. Like the stone, the stone ground. ground. And you can just take this. You don't have to have a lot, but you can just pop it somewhere just like this. Mm -hmm. So it's really easily accessible. It's, exactly. It's pretty bold. Yeah. So people aren't going to be, like, scooping a bunch up. That's right. You just need a little bit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then we'll take a few of these. Okay. Kind of place these back over here. Just kind of put them in. You can kind of do whatever you want. I like to kind mm -hmm. of sometimes stack them up here a little bit. Yeah. Kind of get things a little bit closer together. Right. And let's grab some, a few olives. Let's kind of balance, balance it out, put something over here. We don't really have a lot over here. So right. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Okay. And some of these have the pits in them. I know some people like the pits, some people don't like the pits. Mm -hmm. I would just kind of yeah. forewarn if you're going to buy something, make sure you know it has a pit in it or not. That's you don't want right. someone eating it and breaking a tooth or something. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah that's good. Which could probably happen, you know. Yeah. So, yep. so we'll just put just a little bit more over here. This is uh, Capicola. And I, and I love that too as well. That came in that sample. I pack. do too. I love Capicola. That's one of my favorites actually. Yes. So I love yes. putting that out. So it's really good. We have some of that over here. Mm hmm. And then we can start maybe just placing some cheeses on here too as well. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and put your cheese on there. So you got all your crackers over there as well. Do one in the corner here. Oh, yeah. And move some of this over that way. We've kind of bouncing that out a little bit. Let's see. And this is actually kind of a fun one too as well. This cheese. I think what we could probably yeah. do. Was this our port salou? Um, is this our no, this is, is? Uh, this is kind of like a... The like cheddar, yeah, oh, Gloucester, cheddar. Yeah, okay. Gloucester cheddar. Okay. You know, like I said, I don't really know sometimes. I'll just pick them up if they look good. <laughs> uh -huh. I like the way they taste before. Well, and you've learned it again. when you purchase them what you really like. There are so many good cheeses out there. You just don't have to pick oh, yeah, exactly. cheddar. Or yeah, cheddar. <laughs> there's so many. You if you have access to that in where you live, there's some really great cheese. Absolutely. I don't okay, know if and then there's our fresh herbs. I don't yeah. know if we've got some dill fans out there, but not only is this a great garnish, but it tastes good. I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll eat this dill. Yeah, we love dill. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it on just about anything. But you can you can use it as a, a garnish right up next to your things. It's almost yes. like we have little pockets of what we're creating a here. Flavor. So everything's yeah. kind of like coming through a little bit. So mm -hmm. put some here against by the uh, um, pickles there. I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a little bit of dill overload, but still, yeah, that's fine. But you can put some over here in the corners just to kind of make it look nice. I mean, you don't have to eat if you don't want to, but it... It definitely looks good. And well, yours always good look good, good thing, Chase. So. Well, you know. We love this. Hey, we're I can. we're the creative art peeps in this family, hey, and right. this is just what we do. Yeah, we're. don't you forget it. Yeah, <laughs> right. But then also things like this here, like chocolate. you got to have your chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Hand. It's nice to have a little pop of chocolate. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. You need a few little strawberries. You want your strawberries That's there? right. So strawberries. So that's nice. This is when you can start kind of just filling things out yeah. with, like, your fruits and things yeah. like that, putting in some of the gaps and everything. Yes. So... Let's, you know, let's put some right over here. Okay. That way we have some options right over here by the Capicola. Okay. I have you some rosemary over here, too. Go. Perfect. And I, I love rosemary's garnish. Man, I could just, if they had a rosemary cologne, I'd probably wear it. <laughs> mm. Man, rosemary I cologne. Yeah. I love the we might, rosemary. We might have bed. to make some of that rosemary cologne. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, now, see, I love, so the blueberries, I love the color blue. Yeah. And I like just to kind of just put these just about anywhere now. They're beautiful. I wish we had them from our blueberry patch. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. God, that's one thing. The yeah. blueberries like that. So if you do this, I mean, you see the white cheese, you have these different colors. Yes. And kind of like this frosted blue that you have. Look, I just like to just kind of throw them anywhere. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So it doesn't have to be exactly the way... Um, like some picturesque type thing where everything's right. in a row, like right. we talked about before. Mm -hmm. You can really kind of get fun, creative, and, you can. and throw some things on. You really there. can. So yep. We'll do that too with a couple more of these. Mm -hmm. There's a few crackers over there on the yeah. side table if you want to fill in with a couple of those. That's right. So, yeah. 
We can grab a couple, wow. of here, a couple of these crackers here. Man, I'm getting hungry. It's gorgeous. I tell you, but you can either do these. You can you can try to put them here on the charcuterie board, or you can put them in a, something next to them, something right, like that. Right, like so, we have um, So, yes, I've got so something small. like this. Let me just scoop this up a little bit. Okay, I'll move actually, this you know a little what? bit. Since you guys can see it, yeah, I'll just let's it just back, go back. Actually. And then I'll like, put this in front so you can... So this is kind of you can put And that's what I do too. Yeah. Everything I have left over, I kind of just make a few yeah. little side trays you can of. You put some crackers there. Then you can also just kind of maybe put like so if you have a little bit of little like something else left. Mhm. Mm just like a little, little cheese and cracker. Yeah. There you go. You yes. can do that. You can tear up a little bit more meat and we'll just stick some there too. Pop our char charcuterie boards anywhere. Yeah, exactly. Make sure everybody has some. Look at that. We're just going to start ripping it up here. Yeah. And just to make sure that you know, let's say this maybe is another side of the kitchen, or if you have guests over, you have this is the main one. Right. And maybe you have this, like, maybe over by a side table or something. Yes. People are conversating. So right. you can have a little something. You can put a few pickles on there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do that same thing. Okay. A couple more of those, and that way it's not a lot, but it's a little bit there. Yeah, just a little, yeah, little just a little sampler. little sampler charcuterie. So yeah. And it looks good, and a lot of stuff tastes good and everything. So. Yes. Yeah, so... But Looks really good. I Fantastic. Mean, well, that's kind of the gist of it. I know usually sometimes these go a little longer because we're cooking Let's, something. But can you grab your big board over there? Yeah, sure. Let's bring it over here. I want right, to. So this is kind of one we just did a little bit earlier too. Just a, just some random stuff here that, that kind of the same idea, only a little bit bigger. And you can fill this out as much as you want. So yeah. That's yes. not a problem at all. So no. you can do a couple boards like this, maybe another larger board. Yeah. And then you can still refill with your meats and cheeses and everything as well too so yeah and we are about to wrap this up because we have some guests coming to help us eat this yeah so exactly. what a treat it's going to be for them yeah um that's going to be great and i think we got everything covered there i, did, I didn't know if there's anything else that you wanted to you know i guess the last thing thing would be is just there's no wrong way to do it you know that's find true. some things and rearrange yes. it get creative with it and usually uh works yeah. out to your benefit on that. So. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot, Chase. This is really fun. Anytime, Mom. I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> <laughs>